Okay, so I'm back to talk about the bicarbonate buffer system, and this time with examples of the processes behind these imbalances using the ABG values. So here we have a low pH, a high CO2, and a normal bicarbonate. So the pH is low, it's acidic. The high CO2 means that lungs are to blame, it's causing the acidosis, and the kidneys are doing nothing because the bicarbonate is normal. So that's uncompensated respiratory acidosis. Next, we still have a low pH. The CO2 is still high, but now the bicarbonate is also high. So we're still acidic. The CO2 is still high, so the lungs are still the problem because bicarbonate is not causing acidosis. It's basic. So the kidneys are compensating in this case, so it's partially compensated respiratory acidosis. Again, uh, low normal pH, this time high CO2 and high bicarbonate. So pH is normal but low. The CO2 is high, so it's causing some sort of acidosis, but the kidneys are compensating with the bicarbonate, which is the base. So here we have fully compensated respiratory acidosis because the pH is actually normal. Here we have a high pH, uh, normal CO2, and a high bicarbonate. So we're alkalotic. The kidneys are not keeping up. The high pH is caused by too much bicarbonate and not enough hydrogen. And the lungs here are not helping because the CO2 is normal. So we have uncompensated metabolic alkalosis. Again, high pH, high CO2 this time, and high bicarbonate. So we're alkalotic. It's caused by the high base, the bicarbonate, so it's due to the kidneys. And now the CO2, the acid, is becoming higher because the lungs are helping. So it's partially compensated metabolic alkalosis. And here in our last example, we have a normal high pH, we have a high CO2 and a high bicarbonate. So the kidneys are still not keeping up. Uh, the pH is normal but high, uh, but the lungs are helping. So it's fully compensated metabolic alkalosis because the pH is actually normal. So I hope that was helpful and thanks for listening. Created using Powtoon.